that's a lot of glare. I got my crap light on. Hello, you guys. Good morning. Happy Monday. I have a day off today and it feels so good. I don't know about you guys, but I used to work Monday to Friday and get weekends off, which was awesome. And I've always wanted when I was younger, I was like, I cannot wait to have a Monday to Friday, get weekends off. But I really took for granted having a day off in the middle of the week when it's just you and you can really get a lot of stuff done. So I'm very thankful. I just look so cute. I'm wearing my hubby's really comfy sweater. I'm wearing his t-shirt and wearing my own pants. But um, from the top up, it's all my man. Um, this hoodie is so warm and it's been super chilly lately. And I like having the window open in the house. So I like wearing this. Um, just got my hair. Got my hair here, I'm breaking out a bit. This is real life, this is me. I have my craft light on. I've been doing a ton of craft fair prep. I was up until almost two in the morning last night doing a bunch of stuff. My sunny boy, look at the state of the living room. I took down all my fall stuff. I just, I love fall obviously, you guys know me, but I'm just, I'm not gonna decorate for Christmas until after the craft fair. I don't know if I even mentioned on here. I'm in the craft fair again this year. I'm so excited. It is on November 17th. So just about, what day is it today? It is the fourth today of November and it's on the 17th. So it is just over two weeks away. Yes, just over two weeks away or under. I don't know what I'm saying. Just under two weeks away. I'm very much looking forward to it, but I do have a lot of stuff to get done. So I've been hauling butt, trying to get as much craft stuff done as possible, and I'm really enjoying it. I think I mentioned before with the, when I took the year off for the wedding, I found it so unbelievably hard to even get back into like a mind frame of wanting to craft. And like, it used to come so easy to me, and I really had to like, tell myself, Jill, you need to make time and do this if you want to do it. And so I finally kind of got back into a groove and it's making my heart so happy. Crafting is like, that's been my lifelong love. And uh, yeah, it just makes me very, very happy to do. So I feel so good that I'm back into it and getting stuff done. And yeah, it brings me a lot of joy. So I'm looking forward to the craft fair. I did order some new business cards which I will show you as soon as I get them in. So I decided my YouTube and my Instagram under the name This Is Jill's Life is going to be more of like just my life. I'll share whatever I am excited about sharing with you guys or just the ups and downs and in-betweens on there and I'll have more of like the behind the scenes of my crafting on those platforms but Wild With Love when I made that Instagram and that Facebook page. It was more to do with just strictly my custom signs, my custom wood signs that I make. I'll insert some photos here of ones I've made in the past. And I kind of thought that was just it. And I was still posting other things I was making on Mrs. Jill's life. But I thought, um, because I don't, like I love making wood signs, like I'm very passionate about that, but I love making other things too. So I decided to reintroduce Wild With Love as instead of custom handmade signs, it's just Wild With Love quality handmade goods. So I'm gonna share a wide variety of things that I create and I'll have more of a variety around the holidays because that's when I make a lot of my handmade Christmas ornaments and everything. So if you're interested in seeing what I've been up to, you can follow me on Instagram on This Is Jill's Life and then as well as Wild With Love because I'll be sharing all of that kind of stuff on there. And yeah, it's just nice to kind of have just, it's taken a couple years to kind of figure out where I want to go with what I'm doing and with my creative side. And I in no way have any like goal of making it something huge. I just think as long as I'm enjoying it and it's bringing me joy and if I can make a bit of extra money on the side, that's wonderful and that's a blessing. And if it does become something bigger, that's great too. But it's more so just it brings me joy and as long as it makes me happy and it's not stressing me out and people are responding well to it. Even if people weren't really responding well, if it brings me joy, I'm still gonna do it kind of thing. So it's just neat how over the last couple of years I've been really finding my niche or just figuring out a better just game plan for doing what I love doing and um, I'm still 
still learning along the way, but I'm really enjoying it. And so yeah, there are some updates on that. <laughs> I just love how I look right now. I'm just so beautiful, you guys. And I'm not joking, I am beautiful. We're all beautiful, whether we be all dolled up or looking like this. Anywho, I'm gonna show you my, my Petey boy, my son, my dog, my baby. Hi, baby. You are snoozing. And these are his scraps, you guys. I tied all his scraps of his favorite toys together. So there is, this was a Triceratops. We named her Sarah. This was Willie the wiener dog. And this was a Christmas reindeer. And we tied them all together and he loves it. You love it, baby? Is that Sarah? Baxter? Is that Sarah? You guys, how is my son so beautiful? How is my baby so beautiful? Baxi, I love you. You are such a good boy. Should I show them what I'm making? Hmm? You're a good boy, love. He's just been snoozing here. I was sitting here having coffee with him. And then I got up because I need to start crafting, huh? My beautiful son. I love you, baby. You guys probably think I'm nuts, but this boy right here, he's not just a dog. He's my son. Aren't ya? Mama loves you. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you don't know what it is to love a dog and have a dog love you back, man, go get one. And when I think about like how much I love Baxter, I can't even... People always say it, but not that I'm planning on having kids anytime soon, but when, when and if, and if it even ever happens, um, I can not, I can only imagine how much I would love my own child. That would just be crazy. Um, but yeah, that boy, <laughs> you guys, baby, I love you. This is what happens when you're my child. He knows I'm zooming in, guys. Oh, crap. Hi, beautiful. You guys, he's so beautiful. Okay, Baxter, should I get the camera out of your face? Should I leave you be, maybe? Oh, you're fuzzy. There you go. Anyway, I should... I've, whoa, I've been vlogging for 8 minutes and 39 seconds. So... I'm gonna show you a few things. I vlogged a bit of the little Santa Clauses I was making and I have them all finished and I packaged them up in these little cellophane um, little baggies. So what I did, I just added some twine. I don't normally like using twine for hanging ornaments because it can be very twisty, but I just love the look of the cinnamon stick Santa with the twine. And this year I did a cherry nose on them and I added a little bit of sparkle to the eyes. I didn't do that in years previous. And I made an Instagram post, you can go check it out if you want, but where I just said like, I love how you come back to a project or something you've done in the past and you see it in kind of in a different way and you see ways to improve it. I just think that's cool. I just how we're always evolving. I'm getting kind of deep here, but you're always evolving. You're, you're always, you're able to see things in a new light all the time. So don't ever feel like you're stuck where you are. And I'm just talking about crafting right now, but really it can be like in all aspects of life. If like, if you feel like you're a bit stuck, step away, have some time. And when you feel like you're ready to attempt it again, you can really see things in a new way and see just ways to make it better or improve yourself. That could even be part of a lifestyle change too. Who knows? But, um, don't ever get too down on yourself because you're freaking human, but you're also capable of so much. And yeah, that's Dr. Jill over here. <laughs> like Dr. Phil, but cooler. Anyway, shut up, Jill. So yeah, I have a bag full of these little Santa Clauses. I made 65 of them. And you guys, I've said this in years previous, these cinnamon stick Santas take so long to make. And the reason being is the stuff I use to make the beard and the hat and everything, like that white, it's called Snow Tex. And 
it works wonderful it dries great I love the look but it takes so long to apply it and I haven't yet figured out a way to apply it faster or better but maybe it's because it just takes time to apply that kind of medium but um, I really love these guys they always seem to do well and so those are done and out of the way I'm just waiting for my business cards to arrive and then I'm gonna hole punch them and like attach it to there like a little tag and now I'm moving on to my Snoopy ornaments which are the light bulb ornaments so last night I prepped them and did like a whitewash on them and now I need to do a couple more coats of white paint and then paint their hats I will show you in a little bit what the finished product looks like, or you can check out my Instagram. Or I, you know what, I'll just go grab it. I know where it, I have one that's already done, so I'll show you. Now, where is, I need a Snoopy. Here it is. Whoa, I'm making a mess here. So here is the finished Snoopy ornament. He's got some cute ears. He's got a little Santa hat. I freaking love these guys and I have twine for hanging for them too. Like how cute is that you guys? I love crafting and using like recycled goods and all that kind of stuff. I really think it's pretty cool. But I, I should bring this out so I have something to look at for when I'm making this. But yeah, so there's a little update for you guys. I also have a bag of walnuts in the freezer. I get a bag of walnuts for my sleeping Christmas mice ornaments and you put them in the freezer because I need to... the coffee fell out of the fridge and you know I've done it before where the coffee falls out and grounds get everywhere it did not even break open so that is a win to me thank you and it's just a reminder hey Jill be careful of how you put your coffee tin in the freezer anyway I freeze my sister kind of found that idea for me because you need to crack the walnut shell perfectly down the center and then you would get two mice shells out of them if it makes any sense I will link some videos down below where I showed you my Christmas mice. I don't know if I ever showed you how I made them. You can make two Christmas mice out of one walnut shell, but you have to crack it perfectly down the center or else it just doesn't work. So by trial and error, my sister found out when you freeze them, they like are way firmer and can crack much nicer. So I have to crack those today, but I'm just gonna get as much done on the light bulbs for right now and when the paint's dry and I'll do other things in between. I've been talking for almost 15 minutes now, so I'm gonna go, I'll be back soon, you guys. And thanks for sticking around and watching. Here's to an old school, not old school, but kind of an old school vibe of a vlog where I'm just crafting all day and I love it. We'll talk soon. Hello you guys, good evening and happy Wednesday. I am obviously home, I'm in my kitchen. I'm just getting ready to make some dinner. We are having some HelloFresh again tonight, no surprise there. We are doing one of our favorites. I would say this is our most favorite. It is the crispy chicken parmigiana with baby spinach and bell pepper Italian salad. Super yummy, so I'm looking forward to this. We get the pronto, so a lot of this stuff is already done for us. Um, everything's pre-packaged and everything. It takes approximately 30 minutes to do it from start to finish, so I'm excited about that. I did all the dishes. I don't know if you can tell, I think I told you guys I took all the fall decorations out of the house. So that feels really good, kind of like to have the house back in order before the Christmas holidays. It's not really back in order because they're still kind of a mess, but I did a lot of dusting and everything last night. And I have our coffee table all nice. Don't mind the mess behind it, but I have our plants and everything. Things kind of nice and organized. I reorganized that table over there. I moved some plants around just feels good to have things kind of fresh so yes that feels good I just wanted to vlog a bit um, because I'm doing more craft fair prep basically every single night until the night before the craft fair I'm going to be doing craft fair prep I don't know if I mentioned I may have no I did I ordered new business cards they should be here tomorrow as well as the little stickers I ordered so I'll show you guys those when they come in I have the pans here prepped. This is to broil the chicken once it's done being cooked. These are for the veggies. And I have my Cowichan Three Tree candle burning. I don't know if I vlogged this candle yet. I think I may have. I just forget everything I vlog because it takes me so long to edit the footage. But this smells really nice and fresh and like Christmas trees. So I'm loving that. 
we have our little owl with candy in it here. Lots of Halloween candy. We went and saw Jordan's papa last night. We usually see him every now and again and he takes us out to dinner. He is very sweet. And every Halloween, it's a tradition, since Jordan was a young boy, his grandparents would give them all a box of Halloween candy. So his grandfather has given us another box, literally 100 chocolate bars. Halloween's over, obviously, but... So we got this, and I told him, like, no, you can't give us more. And literally after I told him no, I'm opening the box before we even leave his place, and I'm, like, eating chocolate. But that is the second box of chocolate he gave us, and he also gave us a bag of O. Henry's. So we've just been having more chocolate than we need, and I, thank goodness, am not breaking out. I'm shocked that I'm not breaking out from all the chocolate I've eaten and all the sugar. But maybe my body's just a bit way too used to it now I'm not sure anyway I'll show you my boy and then I'll show you some crafts and then I gotta get to cooking hi handsome I got home from work and we walked this boy you are so beautiful I can't stand it then we facetimed my sister and we facetimed my mom did grandma talk to you on facetime <laughs> yeah you say hi grandma yeah, you beautiful boy. Here are my ornaments coming along. I am making, don't mind, I took off one of his ears because I had to, <laughs> I'm gonna glue it back on, but I removed one of his ears because I had to get this shape because I'm cutting them out for all the other ones. So I should really make like a stencil so I won't have to do that next time to get the ears right every time. So I'm cutting the ears out currently and I still need to do another coat of red on the top and do a few possible touch-ups and then I'm going to be adding, if I can find it, the snow text for Snoopy's hat. I'll show you an up close. So I can add texture like that and then I need to draw on his face obviously and then have some twine for hanging them up. And then those guys will be ready to go as well. Enough of the chit chat, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. It's the middle of the week and yeah, things are going well. I hope you guys are having a good and positive week and just getting through like everybody else. And yeah, I will update you later cause I'm gonna be working on them probably a bit late tonight. So we will chat soon. Hello you guys, long time no talk. Just wanted to come on the vlog to say hello cause something on the lens because it's been a while I've been super busy and not really wanting to vlog <laughs> even right now I'm just not really into it but I wanted to give updates of <clears throat> craft fair prep and everything and show you some reality of how messy one person's house can get so first of all I took everything off of our kitchen table and I put a white tablecloth on it it is literally so this isn't even half of it, you guys. So messy. I've been so busy working and then doing craft fair prep, and I'm just so tired and a bit stressed and everything, but that's normal. Um, so we just got a ton of stuff in here right now, and it's a mess and kind of making me anxious because I don't like messes. Right, Bax? But right here, I tried to make it look as tidy as possible, so it looks great here. So we look here, and then... Bam. So that's a thing, right, Bax? And then also, here's a dose of real life for you. Real life, in my defense, without a dishwasher. Anyway, I've finished all my ornaments. Um, I have one ornament that I need to fix up for the craft fair. And I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna be here painting signs and getting the signs ready because those are the last thing I wanted to do. I didn't want to have other things in the back of my brain when I was getting ready to do that. So yeah, there's your little update, little chat. Here are all the signs that I need to paint white. There is one, but it needs to be touched up. So these ones are all gonna get painted. Um, I might paint some, some different colors because I do have a few really pretty colors, but I just, I think so far, I'm just gonna do white for the most part.
morning. Happy vacation. We're here. I mean, we're here yesterday, but yesterday was a travel day, so it's a little stressful when you have kids and you're just busy out gallivanting with Pop and Mimi and Andy Bria. Gallivanting, isn't that what you said? <laughs> yes, I just thought it was funny that you said <laughs> Freshman, like pure spray He's a daddy's boy, everybody. For about a month, and it is just so convenient. And, and you I'll show daughter, you his belly. Seven, with and his little and feet. I wanted to show you guys one of the projects I made for the craft fair. This is something I wanted. I had saved on Pinterest for a couple years now, but I kind of put my own spin on it. I made clothespin snowflake ornaments. So basically, I took apart a ton of clothespins and then I stained all the 